Tambah kisi edu. Good morning. Please be seated. Uh, the books are there. The books are 21. And if you introduce each for a minute, that's 21 minutes. So I don't do that anymore. Uh, this is last year's book. I'm sure some of you may have copies. Qualities to look for before choosing someone to marry and to court. 17 things to look for in a, in a lady and about 32 to look for in a man. <laughs> we, the man, you know, we have, we are the leaders. So uh, yours is more in campus if sin comes in what do you do um, do we need premarital counseling is it insurance against future problems you know insurance against future fail to plan and plan to fail how do you know God's will um, dealing with courtship problems and the areas to discuss I've listed 45 of them the last one is family history you don't even know the meaning of your name and you keep giving to your children temperaments, four of them can you date or court more than one person at a time uh, it answers the question uh, there is what we call early dating dating is an American term, it's not in the original British English uh, where you try to find out can we even go together but uh, if it is just casual dating it doesn't matter how many if you ask, well let's go out and you see me, who gave you the right are you no commitment but if it is serious dating you date one and then there's a courtship and things did God ordain that you should marry only one person if you don't marry him that's it I don't think so uh, God can have plan A plan B you can even reject the will of God so what do you do uh, or in that this is how to establish marriage as a successful institution uh, work and finances in marriage and the home success of the home do you need a wedding to have a successful marriage a uh, wedding is in uh, john chapter 2 and jesus attended it so he sanctified it as a matter of fact god took eve and did he say eve go left right you see somebody took him in respect so walking down the aisle is scriptural okay and the woman was naked they were covered by the glory of god sin took it away and god wants to restore in christ um, and then it talks about finances in the home walking and working together sometimes you are walking together but we are not working together know that everything about the home is also about the church in fact the home is a little church that's a whole new sermon there are seasons in marriages and homes and so in churches and in nations and each of them you make what you call adjustments like adjustment there's a chapter on the woman the latest book is this restoring broken relationships and whatever i'm going to say this morning the details you can find here uh, i thought about it to deviate but no matter what i did i couldn't i still can't stop talking about relationship went to sunyani techiman awurwa on the way to wenchi places when dodua last week tonight we'll be in akosombo uh, i was going bibiani mamponga shanti agogo oh and they come from all the churches what we do is town meeting Divide the whole town, come to one spot, then we speak. They ask questions, divide into groups. Wow, it was great. Uh, on the fourth, first Monday of, of September, uh, at Tessano Baptist Church, 6 to 8.30, singles meeting. First Monday, Tessano Baptist is near Tessano Police Station. The same place on the ninth, second Saturday. I hold pastors and leaders. We have done Kumasi, we have done Sunyani, we have done Tejiman, it's Accra. And we do it weekdays, but we decided to do it during the weekends uh, so that people can participate. It's 10 to 2. And seven pillars of a good church. If all the seven are not there, it's not a good church. And so the entire church of Jesus Christ, seven pillars of the church. And it benefits everybody. It doesn't, you don't have to be a leader even, because there's fellowship in it, there's prayer in it, okay? Note it, ninth. And um, there's anger in this as a chapter conflict resolution there's a book but it's summarized here there are 10 steps 
The last is trust. Trust is like certificate. It's what you do. Which makes us trust you. Don't condemn or compromise. Be careful about cheap forgiveness. No matter what you do, and I forgive you, so we are nice in the church, we are nice in the home, we are nice in the relationship. Sort it out with God. Because you are praying for blessings for the family and you offended your wife or husband. Say, it's okay, I forgive you. What about God? So blessings can be blocked. The children's scholarship will be hindered. Your loan won't come. The sickness will linger on because when daddy sinned and mommy said it's okay, daddy has not sorted it out with God. Be careful of cheap forgiveness. Okay, be careful. Um, Jesus told the woman who had committed adultery, neither do I condemn you, but go and sin no more. Don't condemn, but don't compromise. Be careful. The lion of the tribe of Judah is the same as the lamb of God. Don't go lion, 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 lion. Uh -uh. That's why maybe people have problems with you in this church. You're too lion, lion. Don't be lamb, lamb, too lamb, lamb, lamb. Balance it. The lion of the tribe of Judah is also the lamb of God. Balance both. It takes maturity. Maturity is the ability to handle diversity. Maturity is the ability to handle the different kinds of people and you grow. Forgiveness is a chapter. Forgiveness is a contract you sign with God in prayer. Doesn't mean when you see him after church or hear him on the phone or see it on WhatsApp, you feel, oh, oh, oh. but you must die to yourself and take steps to give God weapons to use by going to say hi. Even if he doesn't mind you, you have done your job by cooking the food, by being nice on the phone. Takes, don't begin to pretend there's a bird in the sky because you don't want to greet him after church. There's no bird there. We want to avoid you. You will never grow. The origin and importance of relationship, mentorship. As principles, I'm going to give it to you right now. Ten principles. And then you need for good relationship. How do you deal with serious dating that has been broken? Or if divorce has taken place? What do you do? To live longer, do you don't live too soon? Long distance relationship or in here. I, you know, I've never seen without the fridge, you are right. You see? You remember last year's song? Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, those are the songs I composed. You know. I've recorded this one. Go to my website, www.fruitfulministriesint.com. Oh, yeah. Follow my voice. I've been shouting all over, please. Oh, yeah. Ye friend of Crochi Yamansa, who are dink, who need my mammy, oh, ye friend of Judah Mujata, who dink, who need that, ye friend of Crochi Yamansa, who are dink, who need my mammy, oh, oh, come here right in the world, me dink, who da, fisa minya mia, minininam, bequa mammy da. Ye friend of Yesu Christo, who didn't go nim da. Ye friend of Coach Yamansa, who didn't go nim a mammy o. O Kubia Ratniwa, Medin Kubuda, Fisaminia Mia, Mininam, the Kwama Meda. Ye friend of Yesu Christo, who didn't go nim da. The friend who coach your man, sir, wedding could him up the last time. The friend who you the moon yata, young joy, wedding could him die. The friend who coach your man, sir, wedding could him up, mammy. Oh, the friend who you the moon yata, wedding could him die. The friend who coach your man, sir, wedding could him up, mammy. Oh. O kubiara niwa medin kubuda fisa minya mia minininam bekwa mameda ye friend of Jesus Christo o din kunimda ye friend of Kuti Yamansa we din kunim amamio then the other short one you remember Psalm forty six verse one God is our refuge don't just hide there and strength. Learn to fight. Some pay tithes and offerings. They are active in church. They are not happy. Why? Because you put on the armor and go to bed. Heavy helmet. Heavy, you know, armor. 
Go and fight. 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 You know the witches, they kill a lot of people, but they make a little noise. You see them making noise? They allow the demons to work. Christians will make a lot of noise, we kill nobody. When I say kill, not killing the human being, but killing bad habits. Are you not tired of making noise in your house? And you are not killing that bad habit? No. Give it to God. Give it to God. Be still and know that I am God. Meaning, don't you know I am God? Why are you so worried about your age regarding marriage? There is nothing Jesus didn't take on the cross in John 19.30. When he said, it is finished. As if he was waiting 30 years preparation for 3 year ministry. And he want to rush. One difference between the devil and God. Satan pushes, God leads. Satan pushes, God leads. Satan pushes, God leads. When you push, tell him I don't like. Do it. Tell him. Touch him. Kiss him. Touch the breast. Kiss him. Kiss him. Kiss him. Kiss him. Do this. Say him. Leave the house. Don't do that. Resign. Don't stand again. Don't. Satan pushes, God leads. For those who don't understand uh, the chi language, the song I sang, Roach of Mansa is a nickname of the lion. And so it says, God will do everything for me. This song, I was going to school. I sang in a car. I came and sang to my wife in the kitchen. One of the best things a man can do is visit your wife in the kitchen. I challenge you if you're a man in this room and you don't get up to visit your wife in the kitchen, you're not a complete man. Come to me, I'll take time and I'll explain to you. I have four master's degrees and a PhD. I'm a professor of biology. I live in Virginia. But I visit my wife in the kitchen. I've lived on the Europe continent. I have a degree from Ghana, a degree from Holland, a degree from Scotland, a degree from New York, but I still visit my wife in the kitchen. When we take Adam and Eve, where is the bedroom tree, kitchen tree? There were trees. We build a house and a man doesn't go there. One thing my wife likes, find out what your partner likes. Finish eating. Can you imagine honeymoon and finish eating? So quickly, the woman was sitting there, I was going to the room. Ask me what I was going to do. I didn't even have a laptop. There was no computer there, nothing. I'm so used to being single and the problem is that people don't finish being single. 40 years of marriage, 30 years of marriage, we don't care. Still single in the area of sex and romance. And your wife never really enjoys a woman I still see Jerry in the bedroom. Jerry, Mrs. Jerry, Mrs. Jerry. Some don't, many don't. The way you behave, the way you talk, the way you behave towards the children is how you are treated. If people don't finish being single, is the, a major problem worldwide. No one exempted. You see, French being single. And when you catch yourself, confess and work on. And I know after 35 years of marriage, my wife likes it when we finish eating and we just sit there. Don't, don't buy a woman with diamond and gold. Look at the eight bedroom house, a holiday in UK and Hawaii. So what? You are buying a woman. You want to meet God, you ask you questions. Don't get a great say in your relationship when you are destined for postgraduate, your postgraduate, PhD. Okay. So I came and sang the song to my wife in the kitchen. I said, I'm coming to sing it in Ghana. Okay. I don't know what I told you this before. She went there at seven. You are director. Woman is manager. It was 11 o'clock. Put away the counseling. Put away everything. Put away. You have read Romans. Are you going to write second book of Romans? Who do practice Romans before Jesus comes? When I went, the sink was full of stuff. She was alone cooking. I went straight to the sink. She said, "Thank you." Courtesy women. I did all the dishes. It doesn't matter. It's as a housemaid. Once a while, be an example. I finished doing all of them. And she turned again and said, "Thank you." Then I walked to her and tilted her head and I went. That is marriage. Enjoy what God has given to you and be happy and go around and do God's work. Because the number one work for God is your home. The Lord is my refuge and strength, a present help 
in trouble and pain. Be still and know, be still and know, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know, be still and know, be still and know that I am God. Let's sing. The Lord is mine. Refuge and strength, a present help in trouble and pain. Be still and oh, be still and oh, be still and oh, that I am God. Be still and oh. Be still and oh, be still and oh, that I am God. Just one more time. The Lord is my refuge and strength and present help in trouble and pain. Be still and oh. Be still and know, be still and know, that I am God. Be still and know, be still and know, be still and know, that I am God. Me Gwankobia. Ne ma mo din, ne ye ho wa, mi ji fu pa, ye di na u be u, ye di na u be u, ye di na u be u, se mi ya o nyami, ye di na u be u. Yedi na ubehu, yedi na ubehu, se mi yehu nyami. The last time, mi gwanko bia na hodi, ni yehuwa mi jifupa, yedi na ubehu. Ye di na ubehu, ye di na ubehu. Sami ya hunyami, ye di na ubehu, ye di na ubehu, ye di na ubehu. Sami ya hunyami. Let's pray and add just a little more. Let's pray. Be still and know. Close your eyes and let's pray. Be still and know. Be still and know. That I am God. Be still and know. Be still and know. Be still and know. That I am God. I say, be still and know. Be still and know, be still and know, that I am God. Be still and know, be still and know, be still and know. Father, we thank you for this morning again, all that we have received. If the service were to even end now, we are going home with something. We don't have to hear so many sentences before we get on the road of recovery and discovery. We have not just come to the house of the Lord. We have come to the Lord of the house. So come and touch our bodies and souls and spirits and glorify Jesus Christ and bind the enemy and pull down strongholds of Lucifer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Relationships. It's important. Without relationships, there's no God. What 
are you saying, Dr. Kisi? It takes Father, Son, Holy Spirit to relate. Otherwise, there is no God. And they synchronize in a perfect way. The sun is the smallest star. And yet, when you look at the stars and you make a circle with your hand, you don't see millions. There are billions. B I billions. Moving faster than the speed of light. If they bang into each other, we will evaporate. We will not even burn. And yet they go, shoo, billions, and they don't touch each other. Because there's a control by the Almighty who lives in you and can help you with your relationship. Look at how long it has gone, and every time there's a disagreement, you are referring to these old things. We drop it in the name of Jesus. When are you going to stop? Making your stepchild, your stepmother, your husband, your wife, your date, and this. When are you going to stop all those WhatsApp junk and the emails? And be a representative of Jesus Christ. Are you not a Christian unless you are not? And some are not. No spirit of Jesus in them. And they are performing in church too. And elders and deacons and leaders who don't do Bible study with their wives. You don't minister to the main church in your house and go around ministering around the world. You wait. There are questions waiting for you. The questions of God are few in the Bible and they are heavy. Adam, where are you? Where are you as a leader? But that's not all. What did you do or didn't do for the devil to come and do what he did? What have you done and didn't do for your life to be like this at this stage in this country or outside Ghana? If you take United States, I've lived there for how many years? Since 85? I've lived on the Euro continent. Coffee is popular. In Britain, even dinner in Scotland, have you gone for tea? They refer to dinner as tea. I remember my Irish friend, have you gone for tea? First of all, have I gone to drink tea? Not knowing it was dinner. It is not what the nations did. You see, when, when, when things are breaking down, people are resigning, they are leaving, they are breaking apart. You see, I didn't know. I didn't know he was like this. I didn't know she was. Knowledge is what we use to live with people. In Philippians 1 9, Philippians 1 9, your love must go with knowledge and all discernment. Know what you are loving and discern. It goes through seasons. It is what the nations didn't do. Doomsday was brought by what we didn't do. The church in Ghana is what it is in so many ways. What we don't do. Activity and prayer without Bible study. It is a crisis, you know. A crisis. And many are looking 14 days, 21 days, whatever day, looking for the gift, not the giver. It's what we haven't done. And people believe Adam didn't take time to teach Eve what it really meant not to eat the fruit. Look at a girl who has preserved herself a virgin. And then you meet you and then you kiss and front and do all kinds of things. Sometimes what they do with you without penetration is worse. What are you doing? Maybe every, the family, everybody has a baby before they marry. A baby before they marry. And then God wants to break it through this girl. And then you go and you do that. You think God will be happy with you? You think you are living forever? And Eve couldn't help Adam. Maybe the guy too. Doesn't know the dad. The dad didn't look after him. He thinks we're fine. And then whatever it is, it doesn't, or whatever it is. And God wants to use this boy as a special boy. So the forces have attacked him. And you, the girl, couldn't stop him. You're poor Eve. And the women think when they give the sex to the men, they will love them more. You are part of the reason why the fornication won't stop. Look, I went to some of the camps. I went to Yasantua. I went to Kumasi School, Toll Schools. Hey, come and see and join. Kumasi Gary, Omaha School, Prempa College. Hey, Kumasi High. Kumasi High Fish. I went to the kitchen, the pantry. I didn't know there were so many. I started to give them something little. There were like 30 women and a few men. Come and see the ball we had in the kitchen. Places to minister. Some even call me. You see? And sex education is a problem. Now, masturbation is competing with fornication. I tell you. Young guys, 16-year-olds, struggling. And Nobu has some man who came. He's like 22. Tell me, uh, masturbation, I can't. Okay, so one guy talked to me. And I can't stop. See, relationships are supposed to be pure. And there are people sitting here today. I'm not a prophet. 
Sometimes it even shocks me. Hooked on these things. Married people, noble who watch pornography in order to make love with their wives. Only witches and prostitutes do those things. Yes. Witches and prostitutes. Order. Who in the right time to have sex and photograph for you to watch? We are the enemies of our own. We have become enemies. And these are the things that destroy relationships. It is a crisis. Men who are more married to their taxi, their farming, their mechanic shop, than their wives. Married to the parliament and hospitals, law courts, accountancy, IT experts, professors. Married more to their medical profession than their wives. But some of the wives are no better. Running around Dubai, and he's in China, and he's here in Italy bringing shoes, and he's here, and housemaid is cooking. A man who was a leader of a church said, my brother, I sat down one day, and I said to myself, I have not eaten the food of my wife for three months. I said, are you fighting? He said, no. The sisters are in the house, there are houseboys, and the church people come there too, including the witches. They cook for pasta, you preach, and it's running around you like milk. They too, they come. And when I tell my wife, she says, but it's been done. When they wake up, breakfast ready. They come from work, food is ready. And she's the woman's leader in the church. And I said, madam, will you stop women's leader? What are you leading? Now she has stopped. She supervises. You know whether they are putting cockroaches in your husband's food? They're responsible women in homes. And when the riches and good things come, they become worse. In church, we display Asset gentility home cry. Let me read you something in the Bible. Psalm 128. Blessed is something blessed is everyone who fears the Lord. Some versions, blessed is every man. The proof is verse 3. Your wife. I didn't choose that. You did. Who fears the Lord? Who walks in his ways? How do you fear God? Through study of the word and its application. The presence of God with you. There are five things if you do them, God's presence will be there every day. Number one, the word of God. Study it. Meditation is to your soul as digestion is to your body. Think about it as you drive. Jesus was tempted. I won't do it. Even the Almighty memorized Deuteronomy. All that Jesus quoted in Matthew chapter 4 and Luke chapter 4 were from the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy means repetition of the law. When Moses saw he wasn't getting to the land, he said, come. Jesus memorized to fight it. For example, you quote James 1.20. James 1.20. The anger of man doesn't work with the righteousness of God. The anger of man. There's no way to overcome that anger when you hear him entering the door. When you hear the voice on the phone. When someone's talking about him, good things, then you... Mm, mm, mm. Okay? Ecclesiastes 7 9. Ecclesiastes 7 9. Don't be quick to anger. Anger is the heart of fools. Don't be quick to anger. He said something, he was going out and you're bawling. You hear the voice on the phone. You see the child did the thing. And you come with human anger and you do that. You get angry. And we're asking you, so when are you marrying? You're so angry with your mom, your auntie. You could Psalm 3115. Oh, mommy, Psalm 3115. Memory shall run and say, my times are in our hands. When the members are ringing, oh, 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 times, I keep offering. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, oh, even this girl doesn't come on on Sunday mornings. Lord, don't you see I'm 32? I'm 33. You see that girl who, oh, 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 why me? Why not you? You can't trust the Lord. And when you haven't demonstrated good behavior in your previous relationships, and God is just going to give you that wonderful one. Repent. Give clean slate. I give some 51 to people, not only because of fornication, but anything wrong or when you think things are not fine, I say, have a clean slate. As Americans say, clean slate. God, in case this, some you know, some you don't know. Some 51. If Jesus is still called the son of David, and David committed adultery and murder, then God loves repentance. About to turn. It doesn't mean you are perfect, you make mistakes, but you confess and you keep getting better and better. And the first 10 of Psalm 51, creating me a clean heart, 
Renew the right spirit within me. So fight it. The second thing to get God's presence, to walk in his ways, is faith. Distinguish faith from optimism. We just believe. In Proverbs 19, verse 3, in Proverbs 19, 3, when a man's foolishness brings him problems, the heart is angry with God. Proverbs 19, verse 3. God didn't hear my prayer. Look at how I sacrificed. And I come all the way, left my family. I'm running around towns and villages. Tonight we are going to Akusumbo. Town meeting. Hey, it's going to be home over there. I go to Cape Coast and places. Okay? Faith is based on God's word or interpretation of God's word or God spoke to you. You hear men with your ears. You hear God with your spirit. Because Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing. Hear and hear and hear until it rings. Hear the ring. Over and over and over. Not heard. Faith. Number three. Prayer. Based on faith. Based on God's word. Number four. Obedience. Of the word you are believing. And finally. Thanksgiving. Worship and praise. For what you have as you wait for the rest. For some of us, the reason some things have delayed, you have not thanked God for what you have. There are some cases, some diseases came back because the people didn't really thank God. You want more anointing? You know, some people speak in tongues, they have never thanked God. What a tragedy. Don't you thank someone for gifts? So I've never yielded a gift of preaching, singing. There are a lot of singers, play instruments, so many things. Even the shop you run, you haven't handed it over to God. What is that? Did you have, didn't dedicate the place? Your new building. Can you give a land to a contractor and a Christian like you didn't pray with a man? I can't believe you. I'll read the Bible. What? With the contract, a house I'm going to use for business or living from the foundation. I'll open scripture and read. That is when even the man will begin to see the power of Christianity in me and pray and dedicate the land right there. This word given to this man in the name of Jesus. That's when you even crush these manners, wandering, and lying spirits. And you put your mom and your sister in it. You didn't even pray with them. No Bible. And you left. Very common. They lived to America. They lived to UK. Your cell phone, you never prayed on it. You use it for prayer line and then for parenting. I've told you, don't watch TV and do homework at the same time. It's a cell phone for God. First Timothy 4 verse 5. First Timothy 4 5. Everything is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. The instrument you use, you never dedicated it. The voice not dedicated. The more Bible study, even if you beat drums, pop, there's anointing. The more Bible study, the more Bible study, a lot of the quarrels and confusion in the home will stop. If you speak tongues and you doubt it, do a lot of Bible study, you can. I can give examples of times when I was attacked by the devil with swellings on my body. When I was a young man preaching, I was going to pray. Because says, read Isaiah chapter 40. In Psalm 91. So I open my eyes. You read, concentrate. Your mind will go bring it back. Finish Isaiah 40. It was 3 in the morning. One hour. The things vanished from my body. Wow. The power of the world. The worst thing a man is doing in this room is not opening the Bible in front of your wife. We don't care. Don't tell me you, you, you have 10,000 branches of your church, of your ministry, Dr. Kisiru. Don't tell me you have written 21 books. So what? Don't tell me you raised the dead in Nigeria. The church, and when God finally came, he went to the home to Mary. When he asked John to take care of Mary, he wasn't taken to the prayer force or the high priest. Home. John took Mary home. Your home shows who you are. So the Bible says, when you eat the labor of your hands, Psalm 128, you shall be happy. It shall be well with you. This way shall be well. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine in the very heart of your home or your house. Your wife. Your children like olive plants. This is family life right there. It begins with a man fearing God. So in courtship, in training a boy, train him to fear God with scripture. That is why the only way to change a woman in Ephesians and chapter 5 from 23 to 27 Wash her with the water of the word. Because the word of God made marriage. God didn't just think it. In Genesis 2.18. It is not good for the man to be alone. Look, it's speaking. When God speaks, things are created. 
and he did it physically. So only the word of God can put it right. Once, I don't care if he's a bishop in town, the big evangelist, he's the area head. If the word of God is not in that man's heart, he's not practicing it. And you use ministry and titles, you're in trouble. If he's ambassador to Germany and the next government removes him, you have no husband. This is the crisis. The parents are not training the children to have the word. And the girl wants 40, 48 inches, 100 feet TV screen, 10 twins, 10 tickets to Hawaii and to Galapagos Island and to Australia, 18 bedroom house, a Jaguar Mercedes. Instead of focusing on scripture, you will leave them behind when they put you in the coffin. You see, this is the crisis. You see, I teach biology, horticulture. Hortus is garden, cultura is cultivate. Horticulture, gardening. And one of the things I teach, I teach other things. The vine tree, if you look at places where there's vine trees, you realize that in the winter they cut all the old branches. Grapes are not born on old branches, no. So if you don't cut it last year, you won't get grapes this year. So in John 15, 1 to 5, you are the vine. I'm the, I'm the vine, you are the branches. Connected, you bear fruit. Those are cut. You see that the verse 2 and 3 of John 15? You are clean by the word I have spoken. The knife is the word. And then if you remain there, allow me to discipline you, you produce much fruit. It's good, better, best. Fruit, more fruit, much fruit. Look at verse 7 and 8. If you produce much fruit, you are really a disciple. Basketful. What is the knife? The word. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine. God doesn't just put things there for nothing. Now, the reason I'm doing all this, everybody in this room, let's call it by name. And we must address it from the pulpit. Somebody had sex and you were born. Sin has made the mention of it like, mm, but we do a lot of things. Education is poor. People don't care about it. Every important person was conceived by a woman. The womb is more than having a baby. It is a world. The only world you were there eating and sleeping, you didn't know there was anything. Mommy's womb is a world. Let us not play with it. And the man who mistreat women, try to divorce them, break relationships on phone, they propose in person and then they break it on phone. Be careful. Play with the hearts of women. After God created, something is left. Adam says what? After God created, a woman was the best idea God could have. There was nothing more to create. So when you put the Mount Afajato and Kilimanjaro and Mount Washington and put the Glutus Maximus and put the headquarters down there, he knew he was going to pass through into the world. Even Jesus passed through. Lying on Mary and sucking the breast of Mary, that was God. Don't play with it. And Jeremiah 1 5. Jeremiah 1 5. Before you were formed in the womb, I knew you. It shoots down abortion. You see? That is the basis. Because in 1 Timothy 5 1 and 2. 1 Timothy 5 1 and 2. I say, every, before a church or ministry is formed, they should have read that verse. God says, treat every older man as a father. That is a call. So everywhere in the grocery store, on the street, in the airplane, in the bus, someone older than you, talk and behave as if it's a daddy. The younger men are going to be leaders, treat them as brothers. And then, the mothers who give birth, the older women as mothers, and the younger girls with purity as sisters. The only model, example God could give to represent his church was home. So the reason for coming to church is to learn how to be better father, mother, brother, sister. If I'm a new King James Bible, it says treatment of church members. That's what it says here. So how do we put it aside and talk of anointing and the healing and the going, the evangelism, which I do everywhere. Where did they come from? They came through sex between a man and a woman and training in a home. In fact, the reason we are winning them is that bad parenting, they pick habits. Look, everybody here, the habits you have, you didn't pick it in church, your home. The masturbation, do you do it here? You don't. The Bible, you don't read. The, this thing. The WhatsApp sex. Now there's WhatsApp sex. The porn. Pornography. Hooked on it. 
The anger, resentment, maybe there's someone you don't talk to in the room. Someone you're not happy with. It's not from church. Evangelism is there because the homes have become corrupt and feel human. See, the first child was born outside the garden. Parenting started in the sinful state of man. We didn't know how to parent when we were perfect. If a baby had been in the garden, it would have been an interesting story. But when they lost their paradise, Genesis 4 verse 1, we have obtained a child with the help of the Lord. He is still Lord even if you have lost your paradise. Be encouraged this morning. And in Genesis chapter 3, 8 to 10, they heard the sound of the Lord God. Not words. You're able to hear. God says, no, stop it. It's not God's will. It's not the last thing you use to test the will of God. Colossians 3.15. Colossians 3.15, the peace of Christ. Because as the armor of God, your shoes are your peace. Your peace is not there, your shoes are removed. If I Romans 5 verse 1, Romans 5 1, peace with God is number one. But judgment day, you can't stand without the shoes. Use it to test. Should I marry him? Should I not do? But it will work when Colossians 3 16, the next verse, the next 16, the word of Christ must dwell in your heart richly. Because Ephesians 2 14, Ephesians 2 14, Jesus is your peace. He doesn't say he just gives it. He is. Peace is final. After your motives, God's will, advice, counseling, everything, the peace of Christ in your heart is the final test for the will of God. And when Adam spoke, success in life, you see why we have church, everything, you know how it started? A man spoke words of encouragement, affirmation to a woman, to the hearing of God, bone of my bone. If Adam had rejected Eve, it would have a big problem. Everything you see, God would have had to have another plan. We may not be here, I don't know. But the man spoke words of encouragement and affirmation in that home and in that family, to the wife, to mom, in the courtship and things. To that, and that started, God said yes. And God put in the garden representing your home and work you can do. Don't marry the person until he's working or has assurance to work. Don't just want babies and many are suffering. I'm not saying don't marry him, plan well. And make sure Ada is working. I wasn't, ma- I wasn't working, but I knew I was going to teach at Premper College. I finished a master's in the university. Let's be sure. Don't tell me wishy washy things. You see, the garden, your home, and work you can do is very important. So far as success is concerned. And life, therefore, success started as boundaries. I don't know what would have happened if Adam and Eve had gone outside the garden. What you should do, what you shouldn't do. Boundaries. Boundaries, my brother, my sister. That is how life started. And words from the leader's mouth, the head means speak life into people. When I was almost died in 2009, my wife came to Convernology Hospital. I wasn't expecting her to come from the United States. The longest survived human being for raptor of sofa God is standing right in front of you. The longest survived person was eight days. I survived for one month. Kolobun went to Germany in 2011 to give an account of me, the longest survived human being. People prayed. Some of you are here, you prayed. My wife came on a Tuesday evening. I said, what are you doing there? I said, you do what are you doing? My wife came straight to me and said, you are not dying. I refuse it. Spoke life into me. We didn't talk about how careless you were to eat in a restaurant in Tamale after pastor's conference and you got food poison and all that. Speak life. Women, your temper and your words. You are the neck holding the head. You can place us anywhere. You are the head. You know why I'm sweating? The woman is distributing the heat. If she's cold, there's trouble. My brain can't function. If the man is stiff and the woman becomes stiff, the neck is not there. That's why you're suffering. Learn to be flexible, my brother. And the woman, too. When they hug you and go like this, instead of standing, in case you make your mouth like a pig, don't open your mouth. Open. My time is up. I'm supposed to stop before 10. First, I'll stop before 10. I'm looking at the watch. So, write down this very quickly in the next minute. For the best relationship, get off of broken relationships, okay? There is here. Number one, have love. For love, you need my welfare, my interests, my needs, my rights, my opinions. The five things. Get it all. Three ways of showing love. Say it, do it, behave it. The way you behave when I ask you why you are late doesn't go with the ring, doesn't go with the Valentine white car. Say it with your lips. Once I have mommy, your food is wonderful at the table and I sit down in front of the children. What time I did, my son too stood up. Ideas for action come out of willingness to obey. I didn't see it in the book. 
And I sit down. When I'm on a serious trip, I've told you several times, I will not come to Ghana if I don't go on my knees before my wife to put a hand on my head and send me off. God gave me that prayer. I take a verse for the week. I was with her last night. A verse for the week. We said, I tell you, what's our verse for the week? We have family meeting once a month. We talk about food, school, cleaning, and thing. I make mommy the chair and I sit there. What you can do to keep the family? Love. And love is not an action. It's a set of actions. Stop boasting with one good thing you have done and you bring it to church. Because you help to carpet here and bother church. You are walking around the church as if, who, who, who are you? <laughs> who gave you the money? So he's walking around the church. Yeah, I use my money for mortgage. Stop it. Number two, you need obedience and holiness. Because in 1 Corinthians 15, 33, you can corrupt people. Obedience and holiness. Number three, trust and honesty. Trust. Do things for us to trust you. Then we can have good relationship. Number four, communication. Communication is the life of a relationship. It means it grows and bears fruit. It's, 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 it, it, it's the blood distributing nutrients and it's the currency enriches it. Okay? Communication is not just getting things said, it's getting things heard. Number five, you need understanding and agreement. Knowledge is getting facts. Wisdom, how do you use facts? Understanding is interpreting results according to facts. Agreement. Number six, honor and respect. We can't walk along if you don't respect me. Learn it. Use your fasting and bread. Number seven, conflict resolution. Never bring anybody into a conflict who is not part of the problem or part of the solution. Never. Never bring anyone into a conflict. If you're going to tell people, don't look for sympathy and spread it. Also, generalization brings condemnation. I know you won't listen. You women, you men, I know that's how you are. Some start, I know you won't listen, but uh, you agree, but don't start with conclusion like that. Conflict resolution. And respect my point of view. Number, number eight, acceptance and appreciation. And therefore, it becomes acceptance and appreciation. Appreciate me. Allow me to make some mistakes, little ones. Because I'm human. If you're a serious one, help me out. Number nine, faith and the grace of God. Faith and the grace of God. Number 10, humility. Then you get the grace to be able to relate to me. Let's pray. If you want to get all of it in a book. Now, if you want to call me, let me give it with permission from Pastor 0276 for private counseling. 0276 322 982. 0276-322-982 or call the ministry hotline for the program 020-812-6533 020-812-6533 go to the book stand or see me if you didn't get it let's pray let's pray let's pray Mr. Lino Mr. Lino be still I know that I am gone. Be still I know. Be still I know. Be still I know that I am God. Be still I know. Be still I know, be still I know, that I am God. Be still I know, be still I know, be still I know, that I am God. You have never really received Jesus as Savior? Or you're not sure of a salvation, say with me, Lord Jesus, I come to you just as I am. I was born in sin. I've also sinned against you. I open my heart afresh to receive you as my Savior and my Lord. Give me a strong desire for the word of God and prayer. Guide me into all truth. When I live here, any changes I should make, give me the grace to make them. 
In Jesus' name I pray. Now everybody, let's say, Lord Jesus, lead me in my relationships. Because without relationships, I cannot please you. You are all about relationships. Even in this church, I'm not alone. I'm relating to church members. When I live here, I'm going to meet people. Everything I do, someone helps to do. The transportation, the petrol, someone produced, someone is selling. The food I eat, everything I do is a relationship. Help me to build good relationships and to have a good home and please you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The books are out there. It gives the details. Come on, let's give it up for Reverend Dr. Kisiedu. Restoring broken relationships. Establish marriage as a successful institution. Qualities for choosing a marriage partner and show and, and how to solve courtship problems. All these books are being sold outside by Reverend Dr. Samuel Kisiedu. How much is one, please? Okay, go out there. Whatever price they sell it, buy it and read it and get more information. Let's give it up for Reverend Dr. Kisiedu one more time. You spoke so well, but we didn't grab everything because you spoke so fast. So we have to really buy the tapes and listen to some of them again. And then also, we have to see this wife of yours. Yes, we've spoken so much about her. We want to see her. Next year, when you're coming, bring her so we'll see her. I need to ask a lot of questions. She came with you, but left. What a shock. I need to ask a lot of questions. How many times you visit her in the kitchen and all that? I need to ask all those questions. What do you say to this great man of God? God bless you says so many things at the same time within a short period and i think they are also very useful information for us for our destiny that is why we have church church is for correction it's not to make you feel bad or feel some way that is why we have church so when we come some of the foolishness of our lives is being corrected from the pulpit and then our lives is straightened up So don't see us you being rebuked and you being feeling bad. That is why we have church. If, it's, if church is for only holy people, then we don't need to come to church. We need to sit at home and go to heaven. But because of our stupidity and unrighteousness, we come to church so that from the pulpit is, we are corrected. That's all. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Reverend Dr. Kishiodu. All these books are out there. Get some and get information. Amen. Beautiful. We also want to give it up for Vine Song for such inspiring songs, powerful. All the songs I want them to sing is another touch. We'll see, maybe whilst we're leaving the service, we'll make them come to the platform and they'll sing to us. Yes, another, another. That song, when it was composed, you were not born. That's over 34 years ago. They sang it and then. They, 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 Come, Holy Spirit, let your fire. All, all those songs were being composed by vine songs. There, there are CDs out there. Get them, and then you'll be blessed. Amen. Want to receive our second offering on the 9th of September, Day of Help. All persons with disability conditions, cerebral palsy, uh, albinism, burn survivors all kinds of situations that people are into are going to are going to gather at the independent school on the 9th of september and lighthouse plus cm we're going to be there and you're going to come from several regions we are deploying 60 mass metro transport to pass them from all over so we can be a blessing unto them 
We are believe you are trusting God that every church member will make a contribution. We have said that all pastors, evangelists, ministers, you are all buying two mattresses. You have to give them to the archdeacon or the deputy archdeacon. Archdeacon is not available today. Deputy archdeacon, please rise up. All pastors, ministers, evangelists, anybody in the ministry. We're supposed to buy two mattresses and bless persons with disability. These people, they lie on the floor. Some lie on cardboard. Some lie on the bare floor. They don't have things. You are lying on double mattresses, air conditioned bedroom, air conditioned car, air conditioned kitchen, air conditioned everywhere. Be a blessing to these people. So buy some of these items. And then departments have been asked to contribute in all kinds of items Gary, sugar. Uh, oil, men, men fellowship are supposed to buy oil, protocol people are supposed to buy key soap and all that. Everybody must be part of this contribution. Now, there is uh, a, this, a day of help envelope that is around. If you haven't contributed anything for a day of help, the ushers, ushers, lift up your hands wherever you are. Everybody, five, 50 CDs, 100 CD, pick an envelope and contribute to the day of help. If you don't contribute, if you have money in your pocket and you don't contribute anything to support this day of help, in fact, you are some way. Ah, you are very, very some way. So ask the person next to you, since this day of help, how much have you contributed? And if you haven't contributed anything today, Pastor is talking to you. You are some way. Contribute to the day of help. So ushers pass the envelope all around. And if you don't contribute anything to the day of help, in fact, go and tell your friends uh, whatever that I said you are some way. You carry a Samway spirit. So come to the choir platform. Everybody must contribute to the day of help. We have our budget is so enormous, you have no idea. Our transport cost alone is about 150,000, 16 buses from all over the regions. We have a lot of money to be the grains, clothing, wheelchairs, uh, uh, our, uh, the cream for albinos hats for our albinos and then um we have several doctors coming to independent square our canopies our chairs these are all in huge sums of money and we have no we haven't got money to do all this except for you who is going to contribute for us to be up. so everybody pick up a deal for write a check to cem if you have a company that will support us as well speak to your boss come for dvds it's a, who do you see for the, those DVDs too. A letter, a letter for your boss, and then see Pastor Elisha, you need a letter to give to your boss, and then you want to show also a DVD to see how some of these bent survivors, disability persons, and all these kinds of people will be coming to the parents with heart, the way it looks like. And we are also showing them on Praise TV. There are calls coming. Everybody must be part. First level, second level, third level. Go to the third floor and come to the choir stand. And then your tithe, your offering, as well. Box, put them all together. As you receive all these announcements, as announcements go on, give all these things and be a blessing to the Lord. Amen. So let's receive our sister to give us the announcement. Afterwards, uh, Reverend Jane Mensa is coming with the married coach, and then Vine Song also gives a song that we are closing. Amen. Let's receive her, and uh, as we distribute all these envelopes. Praise the Lord. Kindly take note of the following announcement. August 2017, a month of possessing excellence in education and business. Monday, new convert classes at 6 p.m. Tuesday, intercessors prayer meeting at 6.30 p.m. at the Travelling Chapel. Wednesday, midweek service. The Wednesday teaching service comes on this Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. at the Grace Hall. Come, let's sharpen ourselves through the word of God to possess our possessions. Thursday, prophetic encounter service at the Travelling Chapel from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Marriage counseling will also take place at 6 p.m. at the Grace Hall. Friday, this Friday prayer and prophetic service comes off at the Railroad Temple at 6 p.m. Come, let us travel in prayer 
to receive our breakthroughs and every expectation on our hearts. Remember, prayer answers all things. Day of Health 2017. This year's Day of Health for Persons with Disability comes off on Saturday, the 9th of September 2017 at the Independence Square from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. All church members who want to volunteer should kindly register at the Christ to the Rural World tent outside after close of service. And also any church member who can help us get sponsorship from any company in diverse kinds should kindly see the resident pastor or come to the Christ to the Rural World desk to pick up a sponsorship letter for the company. It's a day of help. What can you do to help? Outreach ministry meeting. In view of the upcoming outreach to Grand Bassam in Cote d'Ivoire, all outreach members will meet this and every Thursday at the Traveling Chapel at 6 p.m. to spiritually prepare for the mission. School of Evangelism and Romans. Registration for the 2017-2018 academic year for the Charismatic School of Evangelism is opened. Interested persons should register at Information Dex B after close of service. Pastoral Leadership School Admission. The Charismatic Biblical and Pastoral College has opened its admissions into the Pastoral Leadership School. All church members and interested persons can register at Information Dex B after close of service. CEM Tour to the Holy Land, Israel. As part of our 25th anniversary celebration, the church will be embarking on a tour to the Holy Land, Israel, from Sunday the 22nd to Saturday 28th of April 2018. All interested persons who want to embark on this tour are to pay a registration fee of $50 before the close of August 2017. Kindly visit the tour desk outside and make more inquiries. Charisma Ladies Conference. This year's Charisma Ladies Conference comes off Wednesday the 13th to Sunday 17th September 2017 on the theme, Recover It All. Speakers for this year's conference are Mama Francisca, Lady Reverend Adelaide Heward Mills, Lady Reverend Stella Ajeto Mobi, Lady Reverend Lillian Sanogo, and Bishop Mercy Wood. The host is Reverend Jane Mensah. There will be morning sessions from 9 a.m. to 12 noon, and evening services from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Don't miss this great encounter as we recover to possess. Charisma, ladies. Piano lessons. Do you want to learn how to play the piano, or you want to polish up your old piano skills, or you want your kids to learn how to play the piano? If your answer is yes to any of these questions, then register at Information Dex B after close of service to join the piano classes, which begins in September. A fully air-conditioned two-bedroom house with two bathrooms, toilets, a kitchen, and a lounge situated at Domi is available for rent at $400 per month. Interested parties should please call. Interested parties should please call 020-201-7579. And 020-8135-786. I'll kindly take the numbers again. 020-201-759 and 020-813-5786. Finally, funeral announcements. The Osei and Sam family regretfully announced the death of their father. Flight Lieutenant Samuel Osei and Sam retired. Father of Emmanuel Ose and Sir of the worship team. Funeral arrangements are as follows. Burial service will be on Thursday, the 24th of August 2017 at Abilene Presby Church at 7 a.m. Interment will be at Kokofu in the Ashanti region. And the final funeral rites will be Saturday, the 26th of August 2017 at House No. 2, Adenta Street, Agboba School Junction at 10 a.m. Thanksgiving will be on Sunday, the 27th of August 2017, at the Abilene Bay Presby Church at 8 a.m. All friends and sympathizers are cordially invited to mourn with us. The Po and Elway Day families regretfully announce the death of Pastor Wisdom Po, an associate pastor of the CEM Youth Ministry. 
whose sudden passing occurred on Sunday, the 30th of July, 2017. He was 31 years. Funeral arrangements are as follows. Burial service will be on Saturday, the 26th of August, 2017, at the Rehoboth Temple at 7 a.m. Interments will be at the Medina Cemetery. Final funeral follows at the four courts of the Rehoboth Temple immediately after burial. Thanksgiving will be on Sunday, the 27th of August, 2017, at the Rehoboth Temple at 7 a.m. The dress code is black or red. All friends and sympathizers are cordially invited to mourn with us. God bless you and do have a blissful week. Thank you very much. We have the bounce of marriage between Jerry Gavu of Tabernacle of Praise Ministry and Selig Blimbozi of Sem. If you're here, could you come? please come forward very quickly? Let's put our hands together for them as they come. Jerry and Selig Blim are getting married on the 9th of September 2017. The time would be 1.30 p.m. and the venue is right here, Rehoboth Temple. Today we've been blessed mightily with a talk on marriage and relationship, so we carry that through. Amen. Next week we'll do our quotes. God bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, church, do it better unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to please invite forward our brother Emmanuel Osei and sir, and the family members who are here to stand with him. He's lost the father, flight lieutenant Samuel Osei and sir. The funeral is 24th of this month, August. That is Thursday. Coming Thursday at Abilene Presby. That's Emmanuel. Uh, Aunt Mary is standing with him because that's the, the godfather of Aunt Mary. Hallelujah. So the funeral service is at the Abilene Presby Church on Thursday the 24th at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. And then the final funeral rite will be on the 26th of August at house number 2 at Denton Street at Bogba School Junction at 10 a.m. Hallelujah. So this is our brother Emmanuel, please mourn with them, encourage them to stand, and then whatever support you wish to give to them, please do so. God bless you. Please, you may take your seat. We also want to bring forward our lady pastor, Mrs. Ko, and the family. Uh, this is for the funeral announcement of our pastor, associate pastor of the youth service. He and the wife, the wife too is associate pastor of the youth service. That's the wife in front the funeral service is on the 26th of august that is coming saturday here at the railroad temple we'll be here at 7 a.m 7 a.m to have the service and then proceed to the Medina cemetery for the internment and then we'll come back here father for the final funeral rite. i'll leave it for daddy to continue this is our pastor and um, their, their parents are part of the church right down from the beginning and it's basically our funeral and we want to encourage church members to be present here. It's a very young, vibrant, very dynamic pastor with a wife and their son. So we want to come around and mourn with them and encourage them this Saturday all church members and all role leads to see them here to show our solidarity and to also encourage them we don't want the room to be empty we want family members to see how much we love this pastor of ours very very dynamic very vibrant and very humble pastor amen i say amen so let's see all of you here on saturday god bless you Let's pray for the family. Father, we want to pray for them. During, during this time of their mourning of their beloved son, we will strengthen them, encourage them. We ask for your divine protection upon their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Please be seated. When we close, please try and encourage the, the wife. Now, this coming Friday, which is on the 25th of August, um, there will be a volunteer meeting towards the upcoming day of health. That's on the 9th. And so all members, church members, those of you who want to be part of the day of help, there'll be so many information we want to give. Lighthouse people to are, are coming here. And we're going to discuss so many things and divide ourselves into groups and select leaders who are going to distribute all kinds of things. And therefore, this coming Friday, all road leads to CEM here in preparation towards um, the day of help. Amen. If you if you're going to be part, then you have to be present here because there will be t shirt that will be distributed. You can't be at home and drive to Independence Square and say, Well, I'm a CA member, I want to be part. No, you have to wear a t shirt. You have to distinguish between outsiders and insiders. Because anybody can just walk in and say, I'm a member. We don't know all members. So it means if you want to be part, you have to be here, get a t shirt, and also follow and listen to various instructions for the day of help. Amen. And so we'll expect all of you to be present here on Friday and also on Saturday for our grand funeral service. We want to have Vine song to give us just one short song. I hope you'll sing it another touch. Right. Let's just see Vine song with a clap of Ben, we just want to tell you that the CDs are only six CDs for each copy. And you get a pack of five for 30. So uh, those are all the songs. And we want you to sing with us when we get to the chorus.
up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Time. Hallelujah. Before we go, let's have your leader come, come. Just say one or two things to us. He's a, he's a writer of all these songs. He wrote all these songs. They're from the Lord. How old are you? He gives the glory and the credit. How old are you? I cannot say to you. Really? <laughs> this song, this song that you just sing, yes. um, were these two that really sang the song? Or well, another generation of singing this song? They re recorded it, but the original team sang it. I wrote it long ago. How many years ago? Sorry? How many years ago? 34 years ago. You wrote this song 34 years ago? Wow, that's amazing. But Let Your Living Water Flow is, I think, uh, the song that brings the real healing. I think you know that song. Which one is that? Let Your Living Water Flow oh, Over okay. My Soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let Your Living Water yeah, Flow yeah. You wrote that song too? Yes. 34 years ago. And the Holy Spirit, move me now. Make my life whole again. You wrote all those songs? Wow. <laughs> it's amazing. Praise the Lord. It's good. So, um, this, those who are singing right now. Yes. When you were singing this song, were they born? Sh Charlene, that was here, she was four years old when her mom and dad were in the first Vine Song team. The dark one? Yeah, the, 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 the white, the white wife, lady. She was four years old when you wrote this song. Four years four years old wow and I'm this shocked. is her husband daniel that's the husband yes how and old was he <laughs> he was six eight eight he was eight, he years, was eight old. years old when you wrote the song chica <laughs> you're such an amazing person wrote this song many years and we are still singing it and the song is all over the world Amen. such an amazing come on give it up for him that's powerful ah Great. At the second service, they'll be singing more of these songs. If you're going to go home, just be on, be on live streaming. You'll just hear more of their song because you have more time for the second service. Amen. Raise up your hands and thank the Lord. Okay, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Raise your hands to the Father. And thank God for this service, the things you have heard, what is about to be corrected in your life, the decision you have made is all to the glory of the Lord. And the Father Lord is keeping you alive. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thirst for you, and I long to be in your presence. My soul will wait on you, Father.
God bless you. May his face shine upon you. May his countenance be lifted up upon your life. May your going out be blessed. Your coming in be blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. See you on Wednesday. See you on Friday. And see you on Saturday as well. God bless you all. your tight with you you have a pledge with you you can bring it to the altar you have a tight with you you have a pledge with you you can bring it to the altar you have the offering you didn't give bring it to the altar you have a pledge with you you have a tight with you didn't give walk to the altar and give it